Hey everyone, this is Andrew Brown, and this fall along, I want to show you how to set up UFA or multi factor authentication. We'll talk about it later in the course, but it's very important that we get this set up early uh, so we get it out of the way. And that's our opportunity to also install a really useful application called GitHub Mobile. So I'm going to go into Google and just type in GitHub Mobile so we can take a look. And so, what GitHub Mobile is, it's an application that allows you to uh, basically interact with um, uh, uh, GitHub on your phone. But the major reason why I want you to install it is because it's also used as a uh, authentication tool for GitHub. Now you can use another tool if you already have Google Authenticator, Microsoft Authenticator, Authy, you can use what you want to use and you can actually add both of them there. But I find the easiest way to um, do UFA is to use Git, uh, GitHub Mobile. So I really do recommend that you install it. It's for both Google Play and your Apple phones. I'm on screen for a second. Sorry for the, uh, the upward uh, camera. I'm in standing desk mode right now. But the idea is that you're looking for the app. It's literally just called, I don't know if you can see it, GitHub, right? And so you want to install that application, okay? So here it's showing my profile as I'm logged in here. And this will be what we use to log in or confirm when we log in the future. So what I'm gonna do is go up here. I'm gonna turn off the video so I don't have to look at myself. And we're gonna go over to ooh, um, settings, I would think. And then from here, it'd probably be under passwords and authentication. And so if we scroll on down, um, I mean, there is a passwordless way of logging. I have yet to use that, but what we're looking at is the two-factor authentication. I'm gonna go ahead and enable that. Now, what's interesting is that if you have a lot of um, open source contributions, you have to have UFA turned on. So in my main account, they turned it on for me. They said I couldn't use my GitHub account unless they turned it on. But we have this QR code. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a quick look here. Um, I mean, this is one way of doing it. I guess we could do text message as well. Let's go back here because I thought if you had the GitHub mobile application, it would show it here. But since we have nothing attached, we'll have to attach something. So I'm gonna go here. I'm just gonna uh, carefully look here and um, you know what, I'm gonna do S, no, I'm gonna stick with the authenticator. So I already have Authy installed, um, so I'm gonna use that. I really like Authy, it's by Twilio, and I find it is one of the most light ways of um, getting a multi-factor authentication. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like, again, on my phone. But I really wanna use GitHub Mobile, but I'm, I'm really surprised that they don't show that in the setup, but yeah, so for example, this is uh, Authy. It's really simple. You put in a pin and then you can get into your actual codes uh, that rotate out. Um, so you can go install that. It's in the Google Play Store and the iOS Apple Store. But um, I guess I'll add that. So what I'm going to do is scan this QR code with my phone. And all phones can scan QR codes. You just open your photo app and hover over. And it'll pick it up. You'll get a link and you'll click through. And then it'll ask you what app you want it open with. And so I already have Authy installed. So I'm going to click Authy. If you want to see this, again, I'm trying to show as much as I can on my phone, but it's asking me what app do I want to open with, Authy, after scanning that code, right? And I'll say uh, this time, yes. And then uh, I have a pin, so I have to enter my pin in. Okay. And Authy opened, but it didn't automatically add it. So what I'm going to have to do in Authy, I'll just show you this for a second because I thought it would add it, but it didn't. So I'm gonna have to say add account at the top. There's a little drop down for, for that. Okay, so now it's asking me to scan the QR code. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, and so it's brought it in here. And so now I have it here, it says GitHub, and then my username, I'm gonna hit save. And so now I have a code. And so that's the code I need to enter in, all right? So I'll just turn off my screen and enter the code in as quick as I can, 705. 839 really doesn't matter if I tell you this code out loud. And now we have our backup codes. You should never share your backup codes with anybody. This is a way that people can get into your account. Um, I really did not mean to show them to you here. I'll have to do some editing to um, hide them, okay? So I've downloaded my codes and make sure you print out these codes and you put them somewhere safe and have it offline. Do not have it online, that's the whole point. So go get the a special Duotang. You have permission <laughs> to go buy some uh, stationery and put that in and put it somewhere safe, okay? 
So I have mine downloaded to my computer and I'll go print it out later. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and say, I have saved my recovery codes. And so now it shows GitHub Mobile. This is so silly. The GitHub Mobile app on your phone can be used as UFA. Enable it by installing the GitHub Mobile app. So maybe the reason it didn't work was because I didn't sign into it. So if I had signed into it initially, maybe we didn't have to do this to begin with. So what I'm gonna do is just go hit done. And I still think, again, it's easier to use the GitHub Mobile app. So I'm gonna go and see if I can log out of GitHub Mobile and log into this other account. Or maybe I can be logged into both of them at the same time. So I'm opening up GitHub here and I'm just seeing if I can be logged into multiples. So what I've noticed here, I'm logged in already. I just wanna show you something. So here I am in GitHub Mobile and there's a little cog at the top. So I'm gonna click that cog and then I have my settings, right? And I'm gonna scroll on down and there's a thing that says accounts. I know, I'm sorry about the glare. So there's accounts. I'm gonna click accounts and it looks like that I can add multiple accounts and that's what I'm gonna do, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit add account and it's gonna ask me to sign in with GitHub. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the big white blob of a button and then it's going to show this here, sign in with different accounts. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a different account and then I have to enter my uh, username, email and password. So just give me a moment, okay? All right, so I had to like email myself my password because my, <laughs> my dash lane wasn't letting me log in. But once you're there, you're gonna see the, that authentication code that it's gonna want. So I'm gonna go grab that from Authy. And it's good to have Authy installed. I like having it because uh, you can't use GitHub Authenticator for everything. So I'm gonna go real quick and put that code in. Nope, I missed it. So I'm gonna have to try that again. Sometimes you miss it, you'll have to try it twice. Okay. There we go, it's gonna ask uh, to get access, to authorize it. Go down below, say authorize GitHub, that green button there. And it's signing me in. And it looks like I'm now in. So I'm now in here with my account. I imagine I can switch between the two. What I'm gonna do is just turn off my screen here and let's take a look and see if this is showing up now. So we'll give this a refresh. And there it is, so it's now configured. So. The idea here is that you can also set the default. So again, I would recommend GitHub Mobile. It doesn't hurt to have more than one, but I find this to be super convenient because um, it, like when you go through this, you only have to enter in like two letters. It's a lot faster. It'll, it'll, it'll uh, jump up on your screen, whereas these other authenticators will not. Um, so that's my recommendation to you there. And now that we have two-factor, we are in great shape. I'm gonna just go back to home by clicking the Octacat and uh, that's it. So I'll see you in the next one, okay? Ciao.